All right, here we are, part okay, five. Part five. I don't know why we keep announcing part which part number, but I guess it's yeah. a little real fast. I'm gonna destroy Will our commentaries because he's being a real dick tonight. So don't expect any videos from him for a while. <laughs> I'll put you in a coma, boy. Shut. Up. All right, now we're still on those loading screen. Did you just spill all that water? <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, our commentary is being a little cornhole. Yeah. Well, anyways, let's continue. Have we coming up to that cutscene with the bikes? Yep. Yeah, that's right Why'd now. Why'd you have to ruin it for him? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't <laughs> sure. All right. Now you see, this is that's our helicopter. That's our little helicopter friend. Oh, wasn't what that was it? Kurt, wasn't it? Yep. Oh. No. This uh. Sorry, our my little sister just asked if Sheva was Asian. She's African. But anyway, if you play Resident Evil games, you will notice that helicopters have a bad, bad rep. In this oh game. yeah, they and do. In any game where you see a helicopter of Resident Evil series, it will get shot down. Yeah. Like Starting with Resident Evil Nemesis. It. Nemesis shoots down the first helicopter. Oh yeah, you, when you think the game's over, but yeah, you only played for an hour, and it's like, oh wait, it can't be. Be warned, these action commands suck. You have to be on your toes for a lot of it. Ew. But yeah, be on your toes for this, because when whatever bone pops up, be ready. Because if you don't, game over. Yeah. Especially those ones where you have to keep on pressing. Oh. We'll get to those later too. Sometimes you gotta press. The and now the other thing is you both have to do it because if one of you yeah. don't do it, you're dead too. Both player one and player two have to do it. Unless you're just playing by yourself. Then you're by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old Josh saved us. Alright, this is the Alpha Team. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I think yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Every Resident Evil game has to have their slow motion points to knock off Matrix moments. This one has several slow motion uh, features. Which is <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, pay attention to the big guy in the middle there, Josh. Yeah. He... Which, Josh is more useful in the Gold Edition. Yeah, but he'll play a big part in the rest of this game. Yeah, he, he'll he help us here and there. Like, right, Man, we won't see him, like, after this cutscene, he'll be, like, somewhere else. But then he'll help us later on. Thanks, Josh. I owe you one. Josh Stone. Yeah, Josh Stone. Good old Josh. And later on, he'll say something really funny. And like, he has a quote that I like. But we'll get to that when we see him. Just a couple parts away. Yeah. Thanks, Josh. Always gotta be polite. What was that, a knockoff iPad? Yeah. Or the iPhone Touch? Yeah, that Chris has to be so cool. Alright, this is a big scene. Okay, in the gold edition that we keep talking about. Yeah, you get to actually do this. You get to play through this little flashback. Are you alright? They'll get more in detail later on in this game to tell you what happens. Yeah. I forget it. I think that that's where we'll start chapter three or something. Three or four. Alright, let's see who won. I did again. We're just ending up flying through this game. Yeah. Alright, there's another merchant screen. Yeah, this is here. See, I get to go, and all these treasures we found throughout the game, you get to sell yeah. them, you get all these, all the gold, coins, whatever you want to call them, pesetas. Or whatever. That's what they were I in mean, Resident Evil 4. I don't know. I guess you would call them gold here, because I'm not sure what money it's called in Africa. Did 
David's in a hurry. What is it? If we when we were in China, we call it Yen. If we were in Japan, we call it Zenny. I'm not sure if that's the case Shut anymore. Up. You know where the mines are? Or I'm not sure. Maybe someone not can correct me. Post on our page. Yeah. I don't know. Do something. <laughs> Do something productive. <laughs> yeah. Tell me something I don't know. Alright, see, there's another mine thing. And. More dogs. No, a more advanced dog. Oh, that yeah, dog these will get ones up. are more advanced. That dog, if you don't shoot it a couple times right off the bat, it will get back up and bite you. To be honest, I think these dogs are like horse dogs. I mean, they're bigger than the average dog. Are they the hybrid dogs? They're German Shepherds. Well, that's one big German Shepherd. And you gotta couple them up with those guys shooting with the crossbows up ahead of you. Here we go. Up here. Yeah, you take care of them. Oh, well, I have to. I don't know. Someone do it. See? Music stops. No more enemies. Yep. Here comes a part we never, yeah, ever do. Yeah. There's a cart down there that will take you through the whole little bit of this. Yeah. But we always end up screwing up somehow. Yeah, this, like, this never fails. Like, we always get blown up. We, like, turn around and then it's like, oh. Even though I think I, I shoot that rocket down there because I think I'd get all of the distractions, all the things that would knock us out of the yeah. way. And I, sh I missed. Then he messed and up. I didn't I'd get hurt. And there's like no point of riding in that cart. <laughs> so Honestly, you might actually die. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody correct us. Another thing to post. Yeah, I, I mean, I we expect your comments. <laughs> I mean, we'll never find out. We'll get blown up every time we do yeah. the part. So I, I was threatening to blow David up there. He. Oh yeah, I was kept on saying, "Come on." He said, "Come on, blow me up, blow me up, do it. See if I die." <laughs> then I was thinking about it, but then I was like, "No, no, game over for me." Hey, you drink that water. All right. Oh boy, a dark cave. And this was a pain to do, honestly, because we have this so the uh, our recording software. It dims the TV screen. Yeah. And it's already dark enough down here, as you can see. So and when we were really hard when we do. played, we couldn't even where the light was, we couldn't see. But things, like things after Christmas, we'll start doing stuff on like, ta like some days we'll have recordings done on my television at home, and it does a little better with the brightness. Yeah, so we're gonna be flipping back and forth. This was done in my house, in my basement, in my TV. Well, no one, we could say. It's our house, but no one will know where we're from. David's talking to my sister again. My little, my little troll. Yeah, the little evil demon. Well, anyways. Yeah, I could not see this guy worth crap. Yeah, and this little light isn't, like, the greatest thing. So, it was a pain getting that. That it was. <laughs> yeah, we have to follow the, tr the chain of enemies. Yeah. Find our way. That's the best advice I can give for these games. It's if you get lost in a dark place like this, yeah. follow where all the enemies come from. Yeah. And this cave is still That's pretty bitch. much the case in most games. Yeah. Crazy shit's happening down here. Yep. Finally, we 
have light. And an ambush. Ah, get off. Again, we apologize for the lagginess of these videos. Yeah. I've noticed that the shots are a little bit off. The action goes, and then you see, you hear the shot. But things will get better. We'll do better on the next couple videos. Yeah. Plus now these videos are like two months old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fun. I mean, they, they did look really great after the day when we were doing this. What day did we do this? Was it October? Yeah, it was during. It was like like the th like two Thursdays in, in, on October. Yeah. There now we had to choose who was going to do this. One of the, one gets to go and crank this crank thing. Yeah. So that goes yeah. over. You should never trust me with these kind of things. <laughs> yeah, the first time he drops it on me. <laughs> so, <laughs> but he's got to hurry up because enemies are about to come right behind me. See? Ow! Now I have to crank over here. Enemies come for me. <laughs> Didn't you get quite pissed off at this part? Yeah. Like, right as soon as we get through here, because there's like... I think they this is where they get, like, dynamite and shit. Yeah, they start throwing explosives. And, and it gets really annoying. And You're trying to climb ladders, they throw it at you and you fall off. And then you get lost sometimes, because you got to find, like, the right path. See, that was close. <laughs> yeah, I like how sometimes when you shoot these guys, they fly like 10 feet in the air. Yeah. Yeah, the beginning is, there's not much that goes on. We haven't really even gotten to the, mode, the heart of the real story. Yeah, yeah this is this is more the fun part. Yeah, where we get to shoot our guns. And granted, the rest of the game's a lot of fun, but this is just the tedious. Yeah. Over and over and over again. It'll get better later on. He's gotta get through all the bullshit first. Isn't it miraculous how all these zombies have all the same clothes? <laughs> well, I'm just not gonna say anything. I'm sorry, they're not zombies, they're infected people. Yeah. <laughs> they had to put the zombies down. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Zombies are not fun. Well, I heard for the people, for the. the the crew that helped make Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 5, the director for uh, those two games wanted action. So he, like, wanted to toss the zombies and put in, like, this kind of stuff to happen. We do not advise anybody to try to toss a zombie. Now, we gotta go. Awesome.